Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on. Um, one is no, realizing that I do a lot of different weird videos and that people hang around. Like, they watch what they want, and they, they don't watch what they don't, but they don't, like, really necessarily go screw this guy and leave. Which just kind of opened up my freedom to make different videos. That's really liberating. Two, my first time of doing Hangul, reading Hangul, like, in a grocery store, um, I was making fun. We were in the international aisle, and, of course, there's, like, a bunch of stuff in Chinese and everything. And one cup said, Shin Black. And I was like making a joke like, oh, Shin Black, that's really descriptive. So I grabbed it and I was like, it says Shin Black. Ha, ah, yeah, you know, it's, and then I was looking at the characters like, oh, that's, that's Korean. I can sound that out. And I was like, it's Ramyeon. Ramyeon in Goga. Ramyeon. Ra it's ramen noodles. It's a Shin Black ramen noodle soup. That's my first time like ever reading Korean like anywhere, even though it's only like two characters, well, two syllables. It's dope. Shit's never happened before, so that's cool. Anyways, EXO, by request, Call Me Baby in Elysian. I've heard Call Me Baby a bunch of times back when I didn't like it, and then when I loved it, and then the acoustic one, which I made a guitar tutorial on. Oh, maybe I'll link that. Let me make a, a note to link the guitar thing. I don't remember how good of a guitar of job I did on guitar, but, uh, well, whatever. I'll link it anyways. Link guitar performance. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, I have seen other performances from this concert. I just have not seen Call Me Baby. And in the thumbnail, it's one of the things I liked is the idea of them doing Call Me Babies like in this... Is that the 60s, 50s setup with the suits? Is that, is that Suho with the glasses? Of course, Kai is the overworked business executive. <sighs> Another day of being Kai. Oh. Okay, of course, like, how could it not be bad? It's, it's, it's EXO doing, like, the shit that made me... I almost want to say, like, the EXO I grew up on, which is only, like, a year ago. But it is 
it is the music that I grew up on to get into this world was EXO. EXO was the pivotal piece. Um, what is very different, I think, from this and the versions I'm used to lyric, uh, listening to is uh, the guitar is the prominent part in the other ones. And this one, it's weird to say, the drummer. The drummer is the guy who's like providing all the glue, killing that snare. <laughs> move a bunch to crisscross shoot shoot love that two it's also weird time capsule being like dude shit Dio's gone Schumann's gone Bacon had a solo release Chaniel and Sehun doing their thing and it's like time capsule man percent uh noticed that guitarist wailing in the background who was doing technically technically a killer job but what was really pleasing is that he was dialed way back in the mix and usually if you've ever played with lead guitar players or been around them and i'm guilty of this i used to do this way back in the day too we're like i'm about to kill it so you like turn your shit to 27 And you're like, think that you're so awesome, but really no one cares. So I like the fact that this guitarist was dialed back on a scale of 1 to 10 to like a 4 or a 3. And really, the, the, our vocalists were prominent, and then our drums were prominent. And uh, that's a cool sound. This is just really pleasing to... Whose face is that over there? It looks like Kai. Hold up. Sing for you? Have I not done sing for you? You need to check on that. Um, I find it really... Refreshing, refreshing, pleasing, comforting, just to be back to hearing some EXO that I'm like, yeah, yeah. Is it better than the original music video? Probably not. Is it better than the, the solo uh, acoustic performance? Probably not. But it's really hard to compare because those are so far apart in time for me. And it's one of those instances where I don't need to compare. I just can be happy. But here's, I mean, this is the thing that's funny, is if I'd listened to them all three in the same week, I'd have to compare them like that. That's just me. Um, but having it be in many months, I just like getting to hear them again. Plus, dancing in suits, this shit's crazy. I, I've sang, well, I've, I've performed in a tux a decent amount of times, but I've sang in a tux a lot of times. A lot. Because it's just the rules of the game. And I'm telling you, just sitting there with like your book open, 
I don't have a vocal book. This is guitar. But you're you're sit you're standing like this for like two hours, three hours singing. And you're just like sweating your balls off in a tux. These dudes are dancing and like killing it. I mean, I know they're sweating. They're humans like the rest of us, supposedly. I'm sure they're sweating, but like it doesn't seem to really matter. Sorry, I see another little reaction from somebody else I kind of want to watch. Yeah, I wish I had a good time. That's, that's the long and short of it. <laughs>